Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. Really appreciate you guys watching the videos and I'm um, really enjoying the um, your participation in the comments. Um, so let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments below and what would you do in this kind of situations if you were ever put into it. Now, what I would recommend you do is always make sure you are aware of your surrounding at all times because you never know. Somebody might follow you home or just especially for new drivers just be be very very aware of your surroundings at all times um especially if it doesn't matter what kind of car you're driving um just always look behind you seeing if this person is following you you know make a few turns here and there just randomly to see you know if somebody is following you because you never know there's a bunch of crazy people out people out out here you know that are, that are up to no good, looking for an easy lick. And you don't want to be that lick because sometimes even if you do all the right things, you may still lose your life. Even if you give them what they want, you may still uh, lose your life. So just be careful and be aware of your surroundings at all times. It doesn't matter where you are at, whether you're driving, whether you're in the restaurants, eating with your family, at the movies, or doesn't matter. Just always just be aware and just have that... Um, looking around and you know because you, you never know nowadays there's a lot of fucked up things going on in the world and people have been like on a whole nother level especially since the uh, pandemic but anyway let's go ahead and uh watch the video so this is a a 19 year old he's driving a bmw 335i or 335 whatever i think d or something like that i don't know if it's a diesel or whatever but it's a 335 bmw so pulls in his driveway, parks backward, gets out of his car. And you see that? As soon as he gets out of his car, and, I, and I've watched this video multiple times. As soon as he gets out of his car, they jump out. They've been waiting, waiting on him. Because I was trying to see if I could see anything else around. But as soon as he hops out of his car, it's go time. Um, so you got two dum-dums. Dum-dum number one and dum-dum number two. But thank God that they didn't, you know, they didn't, they didn't unalive him or anything like that or shoot him, whatever. They got the car, you know, just let them have it. At any point, if you ever encounter any of this with, you know, if you're being held up or whatever the reason is, the case is, just give them whatever you want, whatever they want. Okay, don't try to fight it. Don't be a hero. Just give them what they want. And at some point, if you have the upper hand and you got the pew pew, you know what to do. Don't hesitate. You put them down. If you got the ups, you go for it. It's, if it's me or you, it's going to be you every single time. If I got the ups, you're down. I'm not going to hesitate. Because if you hesitate, that's your life right there. Be gone like this. That's why I say just give them what they, what they want. Um, good news is these two dum-dums were, um, were caught. And um, they're being held. So, so these two dum-dums, they were obviously caught. The family has also believed that one of the suspects might be linked to another arrest in the area involving an 18-year-old. The individual is connected to home invasions and carjackings. Police specifically connected them to one crime because they linked their personal phone to a stolen car's infotainment system. How slow you gotta be to do that? Why, why the fuck would you do that, you idiot? They're now being held on a $1 million bond ooh, 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 ooh. one million dollars one million dollars it should give it it should be like at least 10 million to give them no chance of coming out there's no chance they're coming out anyway they're not gonna come up with a hundred grand to post bail but um just like i said the lesson here is um, anytime you're in this kind of situations, we, I've seen, I've covered similar situations like this too, where, you know, you get, you know, shit happens, but you always just want to give them what they want. You don't want to fight because 
you know, it could end very badly for yourself because we only get one. You only get one life to live and, um, and, and that's it. And it's precious. So this, these monetary things can be, you know, replaced, but you cannot be replaced. So just, you know, just be, be cautious of your surroundings. Look around when you're driving home, you know, look up on the rear view mirror, seeing if one car is following you more than other cars or if they're turning where you're turning. So especially it used to happen way more when people have like these these high end cars or like these certain kind of vehicles that would follow you home and try to steal your shit. So just just be careful. That's all I can say. It doesn't matter how much money you have, you know, these things doesn't matter who you are it can happen to you it's a 335 it's nothing special it's a fucking bmw nothing fucking special about it but they wanted it they took it and uh thank god that they didn't you know they didn't do anything else so just let them have it and, but anyway they found the car it was damaged but you know that's why you have insurance um so that's all i gotta say just be aware of your surroundings look around don't be just I know these fucking devices are they're there's so much distracting. We're always just kind of glued into our fucking phones, but you got to watch out. You got to be aware of what's going on in the real world because that can cause you bodily harm and even permanent, you know. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video and as always, you know, like, subscribe. I appreciate you and um let me know in the comments below what would you do in a situation if you had the ups you know what to do blaze them up